Singapore is small but really cool. Even if you just have only one day, it's totally possible to squeeze in so much. You can eat local, see some sights, shop, hang out with friends, even squeeze in some skateboarding or get some art jam in. Let's start with food. We're going to start off with a family lunch at a local Singaporean institution, which is Toastbox. I'm having a go at the local day. It's really something special. And what I miss most when I live overseas and uh, you know, the first thing I go for when I come back to Singapore. So. This is traditional kaya and butter toast. Check out how oozy that is. Awesome, delicious. So straight after lunch, we went from our neighbourhood mall right down to Orchard Road, which in Singapore, it's really just a short hop away from anywhere, really. Mom needed some cosmetics and toiletries to top up, so we headed across to Watson's, which has everything you could possibly want for. And then since we were already in Takashimaya, there is a place that we must always, always stop by whenever we're there. Now we're in the Takashimaya Food Hall in Singapore's Takashimaya Shopping Centre Basement 1. This food hall is goodie heaven. It's very skewed towards Asian tastes. But there's always a plethora of really yummy choices on offer and everything always looks so pretty and interesting and we never miss a chance to stop by and poke around because, you know, we love to eat. Check out all the durian stuff on offer. We've got durian everything, durian cake, durian puff, cake shaped like a durian. Taiyaki is an old favourite of mine. It's Japanese pancakes with red bean filling and they're oh so yummy. So we finally got out of the food hall and took a stroll down Orchard Road and it's always just so beautiful. It's green with all these fantastic buildings and uh, frankly it's really pleasant now in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic. Everyone's in mask but it's way less busy than it was before. Now I'm in front of Escape, which is very near to the skate park at Somerset in Singapore. And let's first go check out Go Sports, which is a skateboard shop. And I'm kind of looking to buy a skateboard for my nephew. So let's go see what they have to offer and advice. And then we'll go check, check out the skate park after that. Woo! So this is Go Sports. Honestly, this was a recommendation from a skateboarding friend and I wasn't disappointed. I found the shop really well stocked with a huge array of skate stuff and the staff was really helpful and knowledgeable and I had a great time poking through here. So if you're in Singapore and you want to check out some skate stuff, do stop by. So when I finally found the Somerset Skate Park, I was just totally kicking myself for not having brought my skateboard along. Okay, so as you can see, I have got the Somerset Skate Park set behind me. And uh, it's a lovely place to try out some ramps and roll around. This skate park 
is the second best skate park in Singapore to me. Number one would be the one at East Coast Park, the Extreme Skate Park. That's awesome, but this one scores so many points for having so many different nice slopes to roll around on and being right smack in the city centre for such convenience. I'm at Orchard 313 and I just came across this place that is kind of cool. It seems to be an art jamming cafe and it looks amazing. I think having an art jamming cafe set right in the middle of all this shopping also adds a really interesting dimension to this uh, city centre and what it has to offer. It's, uh, I really like the vibe of this cafe. It was really calming and creative. I set out with the camera this morning, mostly without any specific plans and it's just so cool what I've stumbled upon while just wandering aimlessly around Orchard Road. And then, you know, when you did get tired of the art, there's always some discount shopping right next door at Forever 21. So then after all this art and shopping, it was time to get a bite behind me called Oma Spoon. Uh, I think it serves bingsu. Normally, this place always has a mile long queue and uh, I was just so pleased that, you know, on this day, passing by, uh, you were able to just kind of walk in and get a seat. I was due to have a catch up and hang out with some old friends, so I thought this would be the perfect location. The bingsu did end up being really, really yummy. <laughs> I haven't lived here for so long that when I visit, I feel just like a tourist and I always enjoy my days in town like this. If you do end up visiting for a day as well, I hope you like it as much as I do.